Hi, um, today we will see actually how to dockerize your fast application. So for example, uh, you have written your application on maybe C or maybe on Python. So now actually we will see how we can dockerize your fast simple application. So before diving into our like main part, so let's understand something about the docker file. I believe you already have the idea like uh, why actually we use a docker file or what's the purpose of a docker file so docker file uh, usually is a text document uh, that contains all the commands a user could call on the command line to assemble an image so from our contents or from our source to build our application so we need some commands and all those commands are like written or I mean guided on a, a file which is basically known as docker file and the very first step for creating your docker file is creating the uh, docker file without an extension let's start the main part so for example we want to create a docker file uh, from the parent image actually ubuntu and we write some comments first so what's the very first step just create a file uh, i will use your vim docker file and remember the docker file should not have any extension it's the only the docker file without any extension and say for example we will create our docker file uh, from the parent image or ubuntu 18.04 so the first command should be from that means from use this parent image to create our docker file so remember to create any kind of docker file we need a base image or a parent image where actually we will build our uh, image i mean where actually we will run our commands to create the docker file so here we will use the very basic ones so for example ubuntu uh, 18.04 so use this image and what we can tell then maybe run a command so which command do we want to run just for the first testing we can like echo hello docker so from ubuntu 18.04 image okay so i think for this one basically we are done let's see okay to build our image from the docker file we can run the command docker build then we can give a tag to our image and say for example we want to docker file and get the source from the current directory let's see what happens okay see it says sending build context to docker daemon the step is here from the ubuntu 18.04 building the images and finally it says successfully build the image and it gives an id to our instances and also it tagged our image with the like ubuntu docker file the tag is latest default one okay now if you want to run the image just to build so we can run the command docker run and then we can say we can put like interactive it and we also can say rm then we can put a name uh, so you can like search for this like it will uh, use it like interactively and remove the image after using this and we can put a name like uh, the name of our application should be something like ubuntu from docker file then we can put our image name which we actually got here control c control v then we can put enter let's see okay now see it prints like hello docker from ubuntu 18.04 image this actually came from the command we wrote on our docker file right so uh, if we it remember correctly like if we want to see like okay so from the image here was the command like you go hello docker from ubuntu like 18.04 it printed here okay so i think we got the idea now actually let's see how actually we can like dockerize our custom written application so rather than like these default things we will build something from the scratch from ourselves like okay for this we can do like now we have 
one docker file let's create another directory c docker and let's move to our c docker directory and create a docker file here before that let's create our first sample c application so theme main dot c okay what we can do here let's run our like some very simple application so uh, include an stdio.a then integer main and integer i we can write something for i is equal to zero i less than 10 i plus plus hello from docker file then person sub d let's see we have written our very simple application which we lighter about 10 times of a loop and then it will print something like this okay now let's write our docker file again docker file without any extension now we will use the image uh, gcc not the one to one so gcc i believe the current version 4.9 let's what you can do here then we will copy the things like copy everything from my current folder to like usr slash source slash so my app this folder then move to our work directory so it says like get the base image from here then copy everything from the current directory to our my app folder of the uh image and then work directory move to the work directory so usr slash src then my app then run the command run so when we copied everything we got our main.c file here right now we will build or compile our main.c file like using the gcc gcc minus o then c app with file main.c then finally we run the command like this so which command we will run so we all know to run a c object file we can run dot forward slash then the file name c f right so everything should be fine so it's very simple we got the base image then we copied everything from here then we move to the work directory then we compiled our main.c file then we are running the app to run the app we are running this command and for this time everything should be fine saved it we got two files let's build our image from the docker file so again docker build we can tag it so what should the tag name like c docker file from this directory sending everything let's see what happens okay it's building our image everything seems good good so our image is built and it's tagged with like c docker file slash let and clone latest so let's run the image that we built so docker run then we can say like iterative then remove after using then we can put the name of our image so what name we can give like something okay my c docker app then we can use the image name from which image we should run the container cool okay here we got an error like it says oh it should be something slash slash name sorry my bad okay cool see we got the output so uh, of our main.c file so it's dockerized and we built the image from our docker file and we are running the container and here's the output so basically that's all so we can actually dockerize our every application like maybe your python application maybe your ruby application maybe your java application it's in works in the similar way you just need to write the proper command so that's all for today thank you